Hello friends, welcome to CSOP space. Today in this video section, we will talk about the dependency injection in C -Sharp. Uh, First of all, I also want to talk about the abp.io platform, uh, which is the sponsor of this video. Uh, abp is an open source web application development framework. It means its code is also available on uh, GitHub and that fills the gap between the plain ASP.NET core and common business application requirements. It automates the repetitive task by conventions and provide many useful features to make you focus on your own code rather than dealing with infrastructure concerns. You can develop a microservice solutions as well as modular monothelic applications based on the industry best practices. AVP also comes with the multiple UI and database options. You can check the, these features options. Here this contain a multiple UI and database options out of the box with production ready startup solutions template. Uh, they also provide uh, commercial themes, uh, modules and tools, tools here in the modules, different different modules, we can check it here, this, uh, this also contains themes, tools for the app framework and uh, offer premium support and additional service for enterprise companies. ABP.io uh, is a complete development platform for uh, modern web applications. You can check out the uh, link of this video in description of the this video. Now we come up uh, uh, on the topic on the dependency injection. Uh, dependency injections means uh, converting tight coupled code to loosely coupled code means uh, if i have a one class that uh, create object of another class means that uh, first class is depend on the second class so that is the called the tight coupling so the minimum of uh, dependency injections is to uh, convert the tight coupled code to loosely coupled code means if you want to add any features uh, to the existing projects then you need to uh, minimal changes uh, no need to retest and then again deploy it. So uh, dependency injections patterns mainly contain three types of classes. Uh, first one is the trying class. It is class which uh, depend on service class. And second class uh, is a service class. It is a class which uh, provides service to the client class. And third one is the injector class. The injector class inject this uh, service class into uh, this client class. Uh, there are three types of uh, dependency injections is used in a uh, CSR. Uh, it's a uh, construction injections, property injections, and method injections. The the injector supplies service through a client class constructor uh, that is called uh, constructor injection second one the uh, injector supplied the service means the dependency through public property of the client class that's called the property injections means uh, it uh, supply the uh, service dependency uh, through public property in uh, public property class and third one is a uh, method injection the injector supplies the service through methods this methods can be class method or interface method that's called a method injection now i demonstrate uh, this dependency injection through uh, a simple example here i already uh, created some sample projects uh, that uh, create a log when any error occurred in uh, this class like here I uh, throw the exception for index out of range exception then uh, this exception will log into uh, this 
add log class uh, here we create object like a add log add log with uh, new add log and then we call this function add log dot log then uh, pass this uh, ex dot message then this will simply uh, print that message in a console simply i run this is showing log saved in text file so uh, this is uh, this class is the tightly coupled class because uh, this uh, class is depend on that class uh, means uh, uh, if you uh, need a, uh, that uh, log is also saved in a db then uh, we need to uh, change this code and then again create object for that db class and then call to this catch method so uh, that is again a rework for uh, new features so uh, we need to convert this uh, tightly coupled code into the loosely coupled code means if uh, we want to uh, change uh, uh, exceptions means we want to log the exceptions in different different uh, methods like uh, emails like a uh, db and then text file then we easily create uh, easily change it so change this code to loosely coupled we uh, need to create a one class like i already created this uh, logo.cs uh, here i already created this uh, interface i logger type and uh, one method this uh, log that take a parameter as a string and uh, one uh, class that logger here uh, we create a private um, variable for this uh, interface and this the method uh, that assign uh, this uh, private value uh, this private uh, variable uh, from, from uh, this uh, object that taking as a parameter and uh, this is the functions that implement uh, that log means this assign uh, this message to uh, logger dot log uh, functions and here uh, we implement uh, two class uh, that implement uh, that interface uh, and also uh, we implement uh, this function so here uh, if you want to add a new features like uh, you want to log this uh, message into an email then simply add a class here so this uh, like a this file uh, here a log saved in file and if you get uh, this uh, class for a db so this will log saved in db for uh, uh, same message we use a different different class for different different activities uh, this dependency injection is a constructor type dependency injection because uh, here we use a constructor for injecting uh, the variable uh, into the interface here uh, here we create a constructor of uh, this class so uh, now for implementing uh, this logger class into our program.cs we need uh, some changes so we remove this code and here uh, we creating a object for this logger I logger interface like uh, logger and then take uh, uh, for uh, uh, changing a method as a dynamic uh, uh, you can uh, save this value like a uh, log type log type means uh, uh, you want to uh, save log in a, a text file or db so simply you can add any key in your web config or app config so simply you can change it here i am taking a hard coded like i am taking as a db and then uh, add if conditions like a log type is equal to db and then logger is equal to new and here uh, we can 
a create object of uh, these both uh, two class file log or db log so here i am taking like a db type so i am getting object for this db log and if it's a file type then logger is equal to new then this uh, file log and we also change this logger dot uh, log then we simply post this message uh, so now uh, no need for this class so i simply remove this now we uh, run this application uh, so now this log is saved in a file log saved in a db uh, because a log type as a db and if you want to change this as a file so simply change it here and then uh, log change into a file so same ways and if you want to add a more methods like a image they simply you are adding a more apples conditions and and adding a methods here so you simply uh, extend the features of uh, any code so that is the complete process for uh, dependency injections in csops this is the basic idea for our uh, dependency injections and if you want to check uh, some real time example of dependency injections so that simple example may be helpful to understand that codes so so thanks thanks for watching if you like my videos please click on subscribe button and also click on notification bell for getting a latest updates so thanks thanks for watching we will meet in next video session